All right, you guys, look, man, we are reaching dangerous territories with this new New York Survivors Act, man. So basically right here, this story is about today. New York City Mayor Eric Adams is accused of S.A. in 1993. Now, before I read this entire thing, I just got to tell you what this is all stemming from. First of all, subscribe to my account. I try to get to 2,000 subscribers by today. Failed miserably. Go look at the subscribers that I'm at right now. And you'll see that I did not make it to 2,000 at all. But I'm just going to push it back until the end of the month. Well, trying to get to it by December 1st. But anyway, all of this stems from this right here. This thing called the New York Adult Survivors Act. Okay. And basically, let me just read this. This thing is given. Sexual assault survivors had a final opportunity to add to more than 2,500 lawsuits filed under the New York Adult Survivors Act, closing a one-year one year window that helped to bring abusers and their enablers to account. Governor Kathy Hochul signed, to, signed the act into law in May 2022, creating a one-year window from November 24, 2022 through November 23, 2023 for people who who were 18 years or older at the time of an alleged offense to file a lawsuit against their alleged abusers and the institution that, that enabled them regardless of the statute of limitations, right? So with that being said, within that time frame, even the mayor of New York is being sued for allegedly S.A. in a woman in 1993, in 1993 that is 30 years ago the accuser wants five million dollars so let's just go ahead and read this because i even got a response in this video from the mayor too so i'm gonna put that in here but anyway mayor eric adams has been accused of essaying a woman in 1993 in a lawsuit seeking at least five million filed just before the deadline of the adult survivors act the post learned thursday the accuser, whom the Post is not identifying because of the nature of the allegations, named Adam as a defender along with the, new, the NYPD's Transit, Transit Bureau and Guardian Association in a lawsuit filed late Wednesday. Adam was an N, NYPD officer at the time, and the filing said the woman also worked for the city. Plaintiff was sexually assaulted. Plaintiff was essayed by defending Aaron Adams in New York, New York in 1993 while they both worked for the city of New York. Claimed, claims the three-page summons, which does not give more detail on the alleged assault. The filing alleges essay battery and employment discrimination on the basis of the plaintiff's gender and sex retaliation, hostile work environment and intentional infliction of emotional distress and seek and seeks damages no less than five million along with attorney fees. Attempts to reach the accusers were not immediately successful Thursday and her attorney did not respond to messages to messages. Sources told the Post that there were no immediate and available records of the woman work, working for the NYPD. So, yeah, this is him right here. So here it goes right here. Adam addresses the lawsuit before one of the Thanksgiving arrangements saying it did not happen. That's not who I am. That's not who I am in my professional life. It's just something that never took place. City Hall was also quick to deny the allegations first revealed by the messenger. The mayor does not know who this person is, a spokesman said. If they ever met, he doesn't recall it. But he will never do anything to physically harm another person and vigorously denies any such claim. Still, it is another headache for Adams, who is already suffering pulmonary approval ratings. Oh, I said pulmonary. Still, it is another headache for Adams, who is already suffering plummeting approval ratings, as well as a federal probe of his campaign's fundraising and his plan to impose unpopular budget cuts. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep going. This certain <clears throat> this is certainly unwelcome information for Adams. He doesn't need any more bad news given his declining poll numbers. Marist College poll director Lee Murray Goff said Thursday. 
It's an unwelcome headline at the time when he doesn't need it. He doesn't have a reservoir of support to fall back on. Sonia Osorio, the New York City Director of National Organization of Women, stresses that we have to trust the court will give a fair hearing to this case. See, this is my man back in 1993. This is Eric Adams in 1993 right here. But it is not a welcome development, she said. This case adds to the issue the mayor is facing. We need the mayor to be a lesser focus on the issue, to be a lesser focused on issues important to the New York to New York City. Court records show Adam Accusers has previously filed a lawsuit against the school bureau board of Miami, which was dismissed in 2010 and attempted to sue the American Airlines the same year, but lost the case. A lawsuit she filed against a Florida casino in 2022 and was also dismissed by a judge. The Adult Survivors Act signed into law by Governor Kathy Hochul in May last year removed the usual time constraints to sue over alleged sexual assaults for a one-year period, opening the floodgates for a torrent of civil lawsuits against powerful men, including former President Donald Trump and Bill Cosby. Oh, so that Bill Co- that Bill Cosby one was in New York. I also covered that, Jay, man. I made a video on that. Go check that video out, too. He's being accused again in 2023, once again. But anyway, at least 2,600 claims have been filed in the state court under the adult SA, including several lawsuits brought this week against such high-profile defendants as Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose, Academy Award winner Cuban Gooding Jr., and celebrity photographer Terry Richardson. Jeez, they getting them all, man. I already just made this. I already just made the video about um Jamie Foxx. But damn, like even with the Diddy and Cassie thing, this is happening in New York. Adam sixty three has never been married. But has had a twenty-seven, but has a twenty-seven-year-old rapper John Coleman with his ex-girlfriend Krishana Coleman. Coleman 50, 59, I mean, yeah, fifty-nine, and Adam split up when their son was still a toddler. Adam is currently in a relationship with Tracy Collins, the senior youth development director of director of the New York City Department of Education, who was considered to be the de facto first lady of the Big Apple. With additional reporting by Joe Mur. Marino. All right, so as y'all see, man, because of that act that I told y'all about, this right here, this says 2,500 lawsuits. Now, currently, it is 2,600, 2,600 lawsuits that these people are bringing forth. And it seems like a lot of these are aimed at these high-profile people now. Like I'm going to tell you like I've said in these other videos. I'm not going to tell you that it didn't happen because I don't know. But I really just think that this is just... It's kind of not fair, man, because I feel like this is just a way to weaponize the law. Like, anybody can make these claims, man. You know, like, if you live in New York and you're a man... Somebody can can make these claims again. Well, not even if you're a man. Anybody. you Anybody can weaponize it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, because men can do this against women too, but come on now, let's be 100. Let's be 100. Women are using this against men. I'm pretty sure 90% of these 2,600, you know, uh, uh, cases that's been filed has been women to men. I'm pretty sure. I don't know the facts, but I'm, I'm pretty sure, right? And this is just a way to weaponize the system against you. Like, and it's hard, man, because... I've been somebody that's been accused, and in the end, it was found that the person's evidence incriminated them. But guess who still had to pay? Guess who still had to come out of their pocket thousands of dollars? Me. And when you have these people talking about $5 million lawsuit, man, that man about to be, listen, if he has to sit there and litigate this and he doesn't settle, like what Diddy did with Cassie, it's going to be a lot of money. I, I just don't think that there should be this broad amount of time. And then making that law to allow that, that no statute of limitations to, to happen, I just don't like that. You know, 
and this is for civil. When it comes to criminal, there is no statute of limitations when it comes to criminally essaying somebody. And y'all know what I'm talking about when I say essay. I just don't want to say it because they might try to de demonetize the video. And I need every penny that I can from these videos. So subscribe to me real quick. Subscribe real quick, man. I'd appreciate it. But anyway, when it comes to these 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 civil lawsuits, they have this window, man. And it, it, it's just a way to break a man. Like, and if you can't, if you don't settle with them. If you don't settle with them for less than what you possibly could be spending in uh, by trying to litigate this throughout the whole thing, you could it could really mess you up, man. And I don't I don't know. And I didn't even realize that all of these other people. I didn't even realize. Wait, where where was it at? Give me let me see. Who was these other people? Let me read it again. I didn't know that. They also, come on, man, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What the? Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know I'm not tripping. Hold on, hold on. Where is it? I didn't know that Cuban Gooden Jr. was even hit with it, so I might make a video about that. Matter of fact, Watch this video of Cuban Gooden Jr. being sued for SA and subscribe bubble right here and I'm out.